What if Goku was born with Cumber's key? How would this impact Dragon Ball Z Part 1? If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. Hey everyone, it's me, Goku. Welcome back to this week's episode of Dragon Ball Z Discussion, where Goku G23 does his by daily what ifs on Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and Dragon Ball Super. Today's discussion is my Z fans, what if Goku, the hero that we all know and love was actually born with Cumber's key? How would this impact Dragon Ball Z and more importantly, how would this impact Goku's life? Now when it comes to Cumber, if you guys don't know who he is, he is from Super Dragon Ball Hero. He's actually one awesome character they made who's an evil Saiyan. He has corrupted Ki, which gives him the power to be literally stronger than Super Saiyan Blue Vegito Fuse using Kaioken just to attack him while he's inside his Super Saiyan 3 form. So that's how powerful he is and when it comes down to it, it's because of his key. He has a very special key which he's the only Saiyan that possesses that key and is also known to be an evil key. So this what if is, what if Goku had that key within him? The ability to be that strong and also the ability to control others because that key has that power to do so. So how would this impact Goku's life? Well, sit back and watch as I'll be discussing with you guys what would have happened if Goku was born with Cumber's key and when I sat down to write my script, I saw this Goku can be really overpowered, especially with Cumber's power, adding with Goku's, that right there will be amazing. So my Z fans, what are we waiting for? Let's get right to the discussion and if you haven't clicked the bell yet, please click it so you'll be the first to know when the next episode comes out. What if Goku was born with Cumber's Key Part 1? Far in the galaxy on Universe 7 lived a Saiyan who was known as to have corrupted Key within him and was also known to be a corrupted Saiyan. His name was Cumber. Cumber wasn't your ordinary Saiyan. He was a Saiyan that possessed such a powerful Key which is called Corrupted Key. Cumber was able to get this key through his own way and he's the only Saiyan to ever possess such power as he was a threat to anyone that fought him until one fateful day Cumber lost a deadly battle with Heart and he ended up being locked up in a planet called Planet Prison. Heart was able to take some of Cumber's key which he has put aside in a syringe to use it for his own on a raining day you can say if anything gets wrong he'll insert that key within himself and be able to go and beat anyone that tries to fight him but one day that key got stolen as he couldn't find where that syringe went as he began to panic on what happened with that syringe but it was long gone. One day Bardock the father of Goku just got the news of the birth of his new child and he decided to name him Kakarot but he was also informed that Kakarot was born with a power level of just 5 as he was shocked and worried that his son was born so weak compared to his other son Radis, and he was also wondering what he can do since the entire planet is laughing at him due to the fact that his son is very weak. But he was ordered by Frieza to go and encounter one planet. When Bardock got there, he decided not to follow Frieza's order. Instead, he went and helped this planet out as the elderly from this planet decided to thank Bardock and to do so, they gave Bardock a syringe which they kept in their planet for a very long time and this syringe was a special syringe that possessed immune power. It was also the same syringe that Hart managed to take out from Cumber's body which is his key. Bardock then decided to go and take this gift and use it on his son Kakra so that he wouldn't be such a weak Saiyan as he returned right back to planet Vegeta but he saw Frieza's men were already there as Bardock knew why they came and said, I see Frieza's here. Looks like he is going to wipe all of us out. That bastard. I knew one day this would happen. But not if I can help it. Bardock saw the syringe and he was attempted to use it so he can stop Frieza but he thought of having his son be the one to take it so he can be the one to save the Saiyan race. 
With that, Bardock then immediately made his way towards Goku, as he saw that Goku was out of his nursing capsule and with that, Frieza's men began to go and attack the Saiyans. Gine was very scared but Bardock quickly took Goku and he gave him the syringe, as Goku's body went to a shock and from there Goku began to scream, as his body began to glow and he began to have some evil aura pouring out of Goku's body. With that, one of Frieza's best men, Dodoria, came as he was killing some of the Saiyans but when he detected high power level coming from his scouter, he saw it was Goku as Goku was powering up and from there he decided to go and kill him. Before Dodoria can do anything, Goku got right to his senses as Goku went and he instantly came right in front of Dodoria and he killed him with just one blast. Zarbon saw that as he was shocked on seeing what he had saw and he immediately went and told Frieza about what happened to Dodoria. But Goku after killing Dodoria passed out. Since he is just a baby, he couldn't handle that much pressure at once. Bardock was very shocked to see what he had witnessed and right there he knew Goku would be the one to avenge them all. He went and set a course on his spacebot to go to a planet known as Earth and send Goku away so that he can stop Frieza but if he fails to do so, his son Goku will be the one to avenge him and everyone else. As Goku's space pod went and it made its way towards planet Earth, while Frieza went and he destroyed the planet with his blast. Goku was the only survival from that planet as his space pod began making his way towards planet Earth. After a long journey, Goku has finally reached planet Earth where his space pod has crash landed on Ox King's palace. With that, the Ox King has come out to see what was going on and saw Goku was on the ground next to his crashed space pod. Ox King began to freak out but Goku wasn't in his right state of mind. He was very aggressive and angry since he didn't have any control over his corrupted ki. After all, he just took in such an evil ki within him. With that, Ox King couldn't help Goku so he decided to go and get some help as he called his master, Master Roshi, to help him out along with his friend Grandpa Gohan. From there, Master Roshi was having trouble to handle Goku since he was a very aggressive child and he ended up attacking Grandpa Gohan, which resulted in him killing him but no one ever told Goku that he was the one that killed Grandpa Gohan. Roshi then went and used some force on Goku as he attacked him with a Kamehameha wave and it got Goku to be sent flying and he hit his head hard on a rock as he ended up going into a coma. With that, Goku has now recovered after a few weeks, but everyone saw that he was completely calm. They were amazed at seeing that, as they decided to go and give him the name Goku, and with that, they decide to do everything they can to protect Goku and never let him know the day comes where he is the one who killed Grandpa Gohan. Seeing that Goku became a very calm child, Ox King took him back to his palace, and from there Goku continued to live his life with Ox King as him and Chi Chi became very good friends and Chi Chi decided to be a fighter like Goku and they would spar every day training with one another while she has a crush for Goku. And as you know it, a few years has passed since Goku has arrived on planet earth. But before that happened, back on the evil planet known as planet prison, Cumber the evil saiyan was all chained up but he could sense that Goku was using his corrupted key and said, <laughs> well well. It would appear that another Saiyan is able to have corrupted ki. This will be interesting, let's see what this peak squeak can do with my power. <laughs> While that was happening, Frieza's man has regrouped with him as he managed to take Vegeta, Nappa and Raditz to be his pet and from there, Zarbon came to him and said, My lord, what are we going to do with the Saiyan that killed the Doria? Huh? Nothing really Zarbon. He has been long gone, and I'm sure he has died with the planet. But my lord, we should still be on the lookout. After all, I have a gut feeling he's still out there. Zarban, we have three Saiyans with us. We could use one of those Saiyans. Let's see, Vegeta. He could be the one to be our pet. Vegeta? Yes, my lord. What can I do for you? How would you like to be the commander of my army? Are you serious? Yes, yes, let's do that, Vegeta. In return, I'll make you the strongest warrior in my army, but you have to always be loyal towards me 
and help me find this evil Saiyan. As Vegeta liked the idea that Freeze has already promoted him to become one of his commander and as you know it, 10 years has passed. Goku has now grown to a 10 year old boy and from there, he went and he continued his training with Master Roshi as he met with Krillin and now it was time for them to enter something called the World Martial Arts Tournament. Goku has entered along with everyone else, even including Chi Chi. Chi Chi went and she managed to beat Krillin while Goku made his way towards the finals and from there he exchanged blow with Jackie Chung who was also Master Roshi. Jackie Chung went and he tried to use his lightning flash attack on Goku but Goku didn't feel that blast coming near him as it was nothing to him and with that, Goku went and he powered up his corrupted ki which was enough to get Master Roshi daisy and he striked him down as he has won the world martial arts tournament. With that, everyone was amazed with Goku's power but Master Roshi was shocked to see that Goku continued to grow at a very high pace and his ki is getting out of hand. He then suggested Goku to go to Korin's tower and meet with Korin so he can help Goku with his power but before doing so, he gave Goku one task. He told Goku about the Red Ribbon Army and told him that they need to be wiped out since they are an evil organization. And with that, Goku went and made his way towards their base and he managed to get them disbanded. Once when Goku did that, he finished his job that Master Roshi told him to do and he went and made his way towards Korin's tower. As Korin was shocked to see Goku for the very first time. While that was happening, back at Frieza's world, Frieza's men were working on finding some power level that is corrupted you can say or something that will give them signs to show where Goku is since Zarbon was the one who was low key doing this investigation because he wanted to avenge the Doria and bring Goku's head to Frieza and from there they said, my lord we picked up something on a planet called Earth, I believe that is where we found this power, is that so, show me it please. Planet Earth you say, huh? Looks like I'll have to go check it out myself. Find out what happens in the next episode as we have Zarbon now going to go to Planet Earth to see if there is any corrupted Saiyan. Will Goku stand a chance against Zarbon or would he manage to go and kill Goku once and for all? All this will be answered in the next episode. If you haven't joined my Discord server yet, what are you guys waiting for? Click the link in the description below and join it and please subscribe to my boy Vegeta T23. Help him get up to 10,000 subscribers. Please everyone, subscribe to Goku T23. Trust me, you won't regret it. And if you haven't already, please click the bell. That way you will be notified when the next video comes out. Trust me, click the bell. It's worth your time. And if you feel like this channel isn't for you in the future, you can always unsubscribe.